there'll always be a huge mismatch between what is known and what any individual could know. So perhaps we need to ask, how much knowledge does one need to be a responsible citizen, to have good judgment, to be able to assess claims that lie outside of one's expertise? And this takes us beyond knowledge to understanding. And there is, of course, a gap between the two, beyond knowing that to knowing how, beyond factual information to competencies, beyond knowing about music to be able to play or read it. It's also necessary to remember that knowledge should not be entirely instrumentalized as merely serving some practical end. Some of you may recall Dr. Watson's astonishment at Sherlock Holmes' ignorance. Holmes's ignorance of things he expected everyone to know. My surprise reached a climax, Watson said, when I find incidentally, I found incidentally, that Holmes was ignorant of the Copernican theory that the earth went round the sun. Holmes defended himself by arguing that such knowledge would occupy space that was needed for what he needed to know in his professional capacity. But the solar system, Watson protested. What the deuce is it to me, Holmes interrupted impatiently. If we went round the moon, it would not make a penny worth of difference to me or my work. The world is complex and has probably got far more complex in the 20 minutes I've been talking, a quarter of an hour I've been talking. But if I've increased your sense of your ignorance, then at the very least, I've shared the only wisdom I have, the humble bragging Socratic wisdom of knowing how little we know and how little we shall always know. This Socratic wisdom and some broad principles such as those I've suggested and a not unrealized ambition to become omniscient poly polymaths should inform the debate as to how we should respond to the challenge to break down the cognitive barriers between exponents of different areas of expertise so that our collective intelligence may be at least the sum of its parts or perhaps even more than that sum. Thank you.